In this video, we'll be looking at the Genesis DS emulator for the Nintendo DS. Overall, the emulation quality and speed is pretty good for most games, but it's not without its significant drawbacks. Genesis DS is arguably the best choice for the DS at this moment, and it's likely to remain that way. You may want to try a Pico Drive DS, but that one doesn't support sound and generally performs much worse. Neither project, unfortunately, has been updated since 2008. One of the biggest drawbacks of this emulator is that it doesn't scale the image of this game to fit the DS screen. Obviously this can ruin the experience for some games, but you might be surprised how well you can adapt to this limitation. Luckily this emulator gives you a few ways to deal with the zoomed in screen. First of all, you can turn on the follow D-pad setting. This will allow you to, uh, to have the emulator automatically scroll the screen left and right based on which direction uh, you're pressing the D-pad. In a game like Sonic, this comes in handy because you get more visibility to your right when you're going right and more visibility to your left when you're going that direction. Um, now, of course, that won't uh, benefit every game, say like a puzzle game where you have blocks falling. Uh, you'll probably want it to stay in a fixed position. So you probably want to turn that off. You want to uh, have a game where it has a fixed position. Uh, you can have that turned off and uh, you can use the left and right triggers uh, to, to move it the way you want. And if it's if you pause the screen you can use the left and right on the D-pad to kind of position it just the way you want. So let me show you a couple other games that uh, probably test this emulator's uh, capabilities a bit more. Now unfortunately the emulator has a limit of, uh, of 3 megs so games like Sonic and Knuckles actually won't be able to run on this. But uh, there's some other games that work quite well. Of course one of the best uh, showcases of the Genesis technical capabilities is Gunstar Heroes. And actually that one does pretty well. Of course I'm gonna there are some graphical glitches, like you'll see that logo look a little pixelated there. Uh, but for the most part, this game actually runs pretty well. Tile screen looks pretty nice. I'm actually going to turn the the follow D-pad option on. All the sound effects and, uh, and graphics in the at least in this level. I haven't played through the whole thing, but I've been pretty happy with the parts I played with. Can't see my plane. It's having a camera effect. Makes it a little tricky. Another game that tests tested uh, Genesis technical capabilities is Comic Zone. This is actually one that doesn't fare quite as well as, say, Gunstar Heroes. Comic Zone uh, looks pretty good most of the time, but uh, you'll actually see a pretty decent amount of slowdown and uh, sound glitches. You can tell even just from the music that there's a bit of a slowdown. But if you know the game well, you'll know that uh, it's a little stuttery in the animation. Okay. Now there is one setting that you can tinker with sometimes on some games to try to help speed up. You know, there's not very many games where you have to do this, but uh, this fake Z80 setting, you can turn that on. The only problem is you kind of sacrifice sound quality. And in this game in particular, all you end up hearing is like this dull buzzing sound. No more music, no more sound effects. And it is faster, but uh, like I said, there is trade-offs. So sometimes you might want to tinker with that, but this is one of the few games where I've actually been tempted to turn it on.
Rice Star does pretty nicely. Uh, seems like there's a few uh, sound imperfections, but overall it's still very beautiful and uh, sounds pretty well. Spectre Man actually sounds pretty good. I've noticed uh, a few spots where things don't sound quite right, and I think I've noticed like one weird kind of graphical glitch, but again, it's one of those, those uh, later Genesis games that still runs pretty well on here. Yeah. 